So we want Whiskey, to, where did he go? To learn to walk really slow, put his head down when he comes in because he always speeds up. So we told her that anytime he speeds up, just take him in a really small circle, then ask him to walk and relax again. If he speeds up again, to make another small circle and to do it over and over until he can walk slower and she can kind of hold the green part of that colored rain right there. So that way we know he's relaxed and he's relaxing his back. So right now she's doing really, really good with him. So this is hard when, you know, the horses come in, he's always been ridden quick. So you want to teach him to relax, just walk around. And you want to relax your whole body, your legs, your shoulder, your back. Breathe in and out through your mouth. And just have your whole body relax so the horse doesn't think he has to go to work. And he can just relax his back and warm up nicely. Kind of takes him a while to warm up. Good. So here, just remember your half halts if it's getting pacey because he is going downhill. That's good. That's a good head position for him. If he gets his head too low, he actually starts pacing. The opposite of most pacey horses. Bring his head just a little higher right here. That's it. And then a little leg. Good. Yep. And if you're feeling a lot of back and forth, the more you tilt forward, you won't move as much back and forth in the saddle. So it doesn't rub our butts as much and we won't get as much like chafing. That's good speed, Judy. That's really pretty. So try and just keep that all the way around. And then just make sure your hands kind of stay in the red. Because as he goes faster, he tries to get that head down, I think, if we're in the blue. That's a good gait. Very nice. Now it'll start going downhill, so you might have to half halt and help him if it feels like he's changing. Good job. Good, and then don't let his head get any lower. It looks really nice. Okay, he's getting his head a little low again. Try to bring it back up. That's good. Yep, much better walk. He gets a better head shake and then he's not leaning on you. Yep, but just keep checking because he constantly tries to put it down too low. Good job. Now here it goes downhill. So again, you might have to half halt or he might be okay. Very good getting his head back up. Good. Yep. You're getting more speed. You're doing good. Now his head's starting to go down. Yep. Really pretty. Yep. There you look great. Yep. And you're doing well with his head. You're keeping it up. This horse, we don't want his head too low because he gets his weight on his front end and then he just starts pacing. So him, we got to keep it the top of his head level with the horn or a little bit higher and then he starts really gating nicely. And then she brought his head up just a little bit there, which helped. Good job. Good. We're going to go a couple more times around. So we took a big long break and this horse is a little weird. Every time we take a break, he gets very pacey in the beginning. 
So we're gonna work at the running walk and what we did was walk real slow first and then we're slowly speeding them up. He just paced there and she got him out of it. So now just keep that speed for now. So that's just his flat walk. And then just remember when <clears throat> you get towards the mounting block, it starts going downhill and you just see how he feels. And if he feels like he might pace, then you just keep his head up, but half halt with every step. That's good. <clears throat> And then I would make your rein just a little bit shorter until we're sure he's going to stay gating well. Good. So now what we'll do is if he stays like this, and once we get to the end, we're going to ask him to speed up a little more for his running walk. Oh, he's starting to go. Good. So every time he paces, we just hold. That's okay. You just start again. Make sure your hands are kind of up in that red so you can keep his head up. That's it. And if he's starting to feel pacey, just half halt every step in the beginning till he stays holding his gait. That's good. So we're good. We'll keep this speed and then next time around, we'll see if we get a little bit more speed, but you're good. He is doing a running walk. And then remember, you can tilt forward if you're moving around or we're trying to help him. But you're trying to keep him light on his front end so he's not pulling on you and he's not pulling you down. By leaning forward. Yeah, by, yes, yeah, so you can lean forward and then half halt. But you're doing good with the pace. Every time he paces, you're doing the right thing. Okay, now try and get a little bit more speed. Bring his head just a little higher. There you go. That's it. Yep. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. Again, we had that big rest. So it might take a couple more times around till he holds it well. You can see he can move. He's got a big stride. That's it. He goes much better with his head up a little bit. Right there is pretty good. See how he shakes his head more? Some will go better with their head up and some are down, but he's the reverse. He's pacey, but he's better with his head up a little bit. You're doing You're doing a good job. Yep. Yep, and his head position is good there. So, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, so keep going. So, on that other side that I said goes down the hill he's doing better he only paced just a little bit but when you're getting towards the gate and the round pen down there he gets pacey too so what I would do is as you're getting to the end of this side start half halting slow him down just a little bit and then after you make the turn you can speed back up again and that should help to keep him from not pacing so just keep this speed here and then you half halt if you feel his feet changing. Go a little bit slower, just a tiny bit. Then kind of hold them together right here. That's good. Now you can go a little faster. So that should help so he doesn't go into that pace. Good job. Yep. So a couple more times around and then we'll go the other way. You're doing really good. Oh, and just watch he doesn't get that head down. That's it. Good job. Looks very smooth. Awesome. 
So remember, just help him on this side if he needs help. See, now she didn't pace at all that time. That was great. Good job. Now we changed her direction, so it takes some time for them to figure out where he's going downhill and where he's going uphill. But now it's going to start going uphill in a couple of seconds. Good. You're doing good with his head. Oh, except when he sneezes. Good. As you're going around, if it stops, even if it's smooth but has a little bump in it and you don't like it, then just slow it down a little bit. Otherwise, it's great. Oh, there his legs because they're pacing. Yep, just hold him. Now he's pacing, so just hold him, push, and then start again. They'll get pacey when they're getting tired too, so. Good job. Yep, that's very good with his head. That's fine, each horse is different. They can all be pacey, but what works for your pacey horse is the hard thing. So you try different things. If one thing's not working, try something else. Yep, here you might have to slow down just a little because now it's going to go downhill. That's good. 